Okay, let's get started. Now we covered in level one of this course that one of the most important things that you can do whenever you begin a new project is the first thing you should do is always rename your worksheet to something more meaningful. And you can see here that I've renamed this worksheet to Timesheet and Expenses Master because that's the name of the project that we're going to be working on. Now before you spend hours creating a masterpiece in Excel with lots of fancy formatting and tons and tons of uh, data and formulas is prove out the concept that you're trying to achieve and the concept in this project is very simple what we want to see is can we create a simple data entry screen where we can get a user to enter the bare minimum amount of data and take that data and have it populate multiple reports elsewhere in the workbook without having to duplicate all of the work okay so we're going to do that very quickly now now just so I can see where I'm working I'm just going to highlight these cells so I can see where I'm going to drop the formulas we can change it again later, but this is just so I can see where I'm working. So I've just selected cell C1. I'm going to hit equals to tell Excel it's a formula. Move over to A1 and hit enter. And we can see there in the formula bar that we've now got a, a formula that says I am referencing cell A1. Okay, so far so good. I'm just going to copy that down seven lines. So now I, I am referencing on this cell cell A1, in this cell, cell A2, and so on and so forth. So now when I populate some data into here, hopefully, and it does, it populates automatically over here. So I'm just gonna use a drag handle and use the autofill sequence. So we can see, yeah, that, that concept's pretty much proven now. We can type something in here and have it automatically populate over here without having to enter it again. So far, so good. Okay, the next thing we wanna have a look at is can we do the same in the same sheet, in a different sheet? So what I'm gonna do is add a new sheet to this workbook by clicking the little plus down here and that's created sheet three that's unusual uh, let me just zoom in so we can see that nice and big that'll do now if you want to be able to see two sheets in the same workbook at the same time that's entirely possible in excel all you're going to do is you're going to come up to the view ribbon just up here you're going to hit view to change to the uh, the view ribbon and then you're going to hit new window now, what you can see here, let me just zoom in again. What you can see here is sheet one and behind sheet one, we can see the same workbook again. Now, what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna come back to the view menu and we're gonna hit view side by side. And when we do that, we can see that in this sheet on the left hand side, we're viewing sheet one. And so far in the right hand side, we're also viewing sheet one. But what we can do is just click sheet three and now we have two views of the same workbook. So I'm just gonna do exactly the same thing again, but I'm gonna do it in B this time. I'm just gonna hit the home button and highlight that so I can see where I'm working. And I'm gonna hit equals, and this time I'm gonna flip over to the left-hand screen and click A1. And there you go, we can see that we now have Monday. I'm just gonna copy the formula down. So whatever I type in here, so if I say apples, I can't spell apples, uh, apple, still can't spell apples, apples, and it's entered. We can see that it's been updated here in this this uh, array on the first sheet, and we can also see that it's been changed over here on sheet three. Okay, now the only thing to notice here is with the formulas. If we're working in the same sheet and we looked at the formula, we can see it says equals A1, and that's because it's referencing A1 on the same sheet. But if we had a look over here, we can see that the formula has changed. It now says equals sheet one exclamation point A1. And that's because the way Excel tells which cell a sheet is on, if it's on the same sheet, it doesn't have anything. It just references the cell. So A1 over here. But here it says you need to look in the same workbook, but you are looking for a different sheet. And that sheet is called sheet one so there you go sheet one exclamation point a1 means look at cell a1 on the sheet called sheet one okay so there you go now the concept is proved we can get on with building our data entry screen see you in the next lecture